It was a beautiful day today for the St. Joseph Chamber of Commerce's Donut Dash. It was the eighth annual event to support St. Joseph Museums. KQ2's Noel Harden was there. Early Saturday morning, over 300 runners and walkers lined up at the Patey House and prepared for the two-mile course to Golden Glaze Donuts. It's a race that benefits the Patey House Museum, the Ribbity Road Museum, and Mount Mora Cemetery. We have a record number of attendees today. We have 300 people, and we actually had more people that wanted to sign up, but we only had enough medals for 300, so it's a record year for us, so we're really excited. The first person to cross the finish line finished in just over 20 minutes. And this professional runner has run over 30 marathons and gives some tips to people who may want to try their hand at a run but don't know where to start. I think start small. So that's why the measly mile is so great. If you can try to run walk one mile in 20 minutes or less, it gets you started. And what's crazy is at the beginning it hurts and you hate it and it sucks. But then it becomes part of a routine and a habit. And then the next thing you know, you're you know whittling down that time to running the whole time. And then you're signing up for your first 5K, your first 10K. It's very inspirational. Upon completing the race, participants received a medal and donuts from Golden Glaze, as well as cheers from their supporters at the finish line. Reporting in St. Joseph, I'm Noel Harden from KQ2 News. Because the run had a maximum number of participants this year, Donut Dash organizers say they'll expand next year.